Hey, well, Broken World Entertainment. Hope you had a good weekend. And what a crazy weekend it was, eh? Whoa. <laughs> but it seems to have gotten even a little crazier in the entertainment world because there is a rumor, or at least stories happening, that Disney has been hacked. Yes, apparently 1.1 terabytes of information has been hacked, which includes intel on future movies as well as some other bits. So we'll have a look. There's actually two different articles. There's the article we'll, we'll look at both uh, because this one that we'll start with gives you the information of apparently what has happened. And then there's another part in another uh, site that kind of leans into something else with it. So it says this anyway, starting with, there are rumblings online that Disney has been hacked with 1.1 terabytes of data allegedly compromised. A group called Null Bulge uh, claims to have gained access to the company's Intel Slack with the data they've acquired including information on unreleased projects, never before seen concept art and various login and personal data. Um, now it doesn't say whether or not that personal data is people who have Disney Plus or anything or whether that's uh, employees information so it says disney has yet to comment on the supposed hack and none of this content has been released online yet or has it that's where we'll go with the other article in a minute uh, presumably disney will be asked to pay for the hack data and if they refuse it will be shared online for the world to see now it's saying then that this uh, could mean we'll soon have a lot of inside information about the House of Mouse's movie slate, potentially extending to Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm's offerings. Now here's the part where has some information been released. Maybe this could have even been a, hey, here's proof that we have it. The headline for this one was Disney hacks uh, reveals Disney Disney shut down Jeremy Renner's app, not online trolls. Yeah, so we'll have a quick look at this part. So it says, we gained a potential inside look at the inner workings of Disney, where the company seemingly blamed fans for the shutdown of the popular Jeremy Renner official. However, it appears it was Disney itself that demanded Renner shut it down. It is claimed that Disney has suffered a massive hack revealing that Disney forced Jeremy Renner to shut down his popular Jeremy Renner official app, contrary to the initial blame placed on online trolls slash fans five years ago. The alleged data leak shows it was Disney's decision. A hacking group, Null Bulge, claims they have dumped 1.1 terabytes of files and chat messages from Disney's Slack account. By the way, I have no idea what the, a Slack account is. Uh, whether that's an internal thing or something, I'm not sure. Uh, so it says 1.1 terabytes of da data, almost 10,000 channels, every message and file possible dumped, unreleased projects, raw images and code, some logins, links to internal API uh, web pages and more. Have fun shifting through it. There is a lot there, uh, states the hacker group's website. So you're hearing there that they've seemingly released this information about the Jeremy Renner app that Disney said the fans were trolling them and that's why it was shut down. You know, it was toxic fandom and all this crap. And now it turns out, no, Disney demanded that he shuts it down. And then it's saying here as well, back with the other article, it says Disney may be looking to distract from this news by confirming today, which was the other day, that Marvel Studios will host a one hour Hall H panel at the San Diego Comic Con Saturday, July 27, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's a shorter than usual panel, but enough to give us an updated slate and the odd trailer or two. Um, so it looks very, very bad for Disney with this possible hack if they really have lost 1.1 terabytes 
of information. And if this co or group, I should say, does start putting stuff out, like what are we going to see in here? Now, we've already seen those videos, the undercover videos, um, where we saw the one of the vice presidents saying outright, oh yeah, we don't hire white straight men. You know, it said quietly and it said out loud that we just don't do that. We then got that other one about um, that they are very much pushing the alphabet stuff towards kids. But then the same people, I, I can't remember the guy's name, who does those videos, does one that's called the Disney Files. And he released another part, which I'll show you a bit of it. Because this is crazy, where it really shows you what's happening on the inside. And he didn't get this by hacking it or getting people to hack this is from actual people who worked inside Disney who reached out to him and said, we, we want to speak to you, but we can't, but we'll send you some of the information and just some of the stuff you see. So have a look at this because this is even what's happening behind closed doors at Disney. Take a look. The inside of Disney have given us an inside look at Disney's internal communications hub, internal employee websites, group chats and bulletin boards, Disney's company employee roster, and their Slack channel threads. And what we've discovered is so shocking that it makes the Disney tape series look like child's play. Literally, the Disney employee named Honey Harrison, who is promoting a Disney sanctioned and sponsored Seattle Pride event via the Disney Slack channel. As we dug deeper into what she was marketing, we found it was an LGBTQ Pride event sponsored by Disney and meant for kids of all ages. Children, very young children, we're there to see it all, compliments of the Walt Disney Company. Did you just see that? Fully naked men on bicycles in front of children brought to you by the Walt Disney Company. Well, now we know exactly what Jeannie Giornani, the creative marketing director, meant when he said the, quote, unspoken truth. You know, that's the unspoken thing. The journalist discovered that Disney has a not-so-secret partner named Zebra Youth. Zebra Youth is a program that was formed to assist LGBTQ youth as young as 13 years old, and Disney seems to be all about it. And hidden from the public, Disney actively promotes the Zebra Youth program, and if it were not for our brave Disney whistleblowers, insiders shining a light inside this company, we would not be able to bring this shameful practice to light. As you can see in this Disney Pride Slack channel, Disney employees are passing around documents of Polly swingers, virtual hangouts, pride nights, gay meetups, and even, yes, queer Zoom backgrounds that can be used when employees are on company Zoom calls. What? So you're seeing that there, that's crazy. Now, could you imagine if even more data and information on stuff like that comes out, as well as movie projects they're looking to do and what's in development, just to see how bad things actually are, what kind of information is in there. Let's not forget, Sony got hacked and it was all, oh no we didn't, and then all that information came out where we got the, all oh, they were looking to do with Bad Boys crossover with 21 Jump Street and, or no, sorry, it was 21 Jump Street and Men in Black, wasn't it? That's what it was. And you were just like, what? And all that kind of information came out. Could the same happen here with Disney? It's very possible. But it doesn't look good for Disney if this hack, in fact, occurred. If it turns out they are the ones who demanded that Jeremy Renner shut down his app. And then, of course, these behind the scenes things of their vice presidents and employees saying the quiet part out loud to people. And then seeing those files and information from within Disney itself. It's not looking good. And that time's going to tell what the hell is going to happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if they wait until they're about to do their comic con and all of a sudden information gets dropped it's going to be interesting to see what happens we'll keep our ears open and have a look what's going on with this so with that like share subscribe let's keep the channel growing and i'll catch you in the next one